Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. We do not have to do a roll call vote for this meeting. All righty. Good. Let's start. Uh, the first policy that we're going to look at is CF. I, I think that's the, which, which ones, which one do we have there first? I'm looking at the screen. I'm trying to see. BBA. BBA. Okay. It's not pulling up for me, Wendy. Can you get it? I do. I will share. Hold on one second. Oh, there it goes. I got it. Okay. Am I doing that? I have these in the sequence. It should be. All right. I'm having some difficulties. All right. Questions, anyone? Comments? Just a, a very obvious typo on number two, I think. I'm sure people saw that. Yeah. Without the O? Yeah. Just, I had one, just so I can have good comments. I had no other comments whatsoever on this. I guess I had a question. Uh, item number, the former item number six, mm -hmm. uh, there, there was a public relations section that was uh, crossed out. And I was curious if, if someone could just comment about that. I, I, I may have missed if it was uh, addressed in one of the others. Uh, that's the one that, that, that goes to another place, I think. So we re removed that from here just because <clears throat> Public relations really has been more of a communications department function as opposed to a board function. Um, and so the, the purpose of this policy was to outline the primary board powers and duties. And so it just didn't make sense for PR really to be there because that's not been our practice as a district that PR hasn't really become, hasn't been coming directly from the board. Thank you. And sometimes, I mean, this one has this hasn't been revisited since 2011, so it's it's been a little bit since this one has been looked at. All righty, is everyone in agreement with the change? All righty, let's go to the next policy. This policy, I'm, I'm having troubles reading. I can see, but I can't read this. Board superintendent relationship, policy BCD. Okay. BCD. All right. Get to BCD. Comments, questions? I had a question on this one. Uh, I've noticed in some of the other policies we're trying to move towards non-gender pronouns. And so I was just curious if that, that shows up here quite a lot in some of the other policies that we'll be looking at later today as well. And I was just wondering if that's something we want to, to look at or change. Yep, we can make that change. That's not, not a problem. So anywhere it has he, she, we can switch that to they or there. Yeah, or, or the superintendent. Mm -hmm. All righty. Yep, that'll be corrected before it goes to first reading. Fantastic. Our next policy is? CF, Administration Relationship. And again, this policy had not been reviewed in a while, so there were minor changes. Updates. I have a question on this one. Uh, on second part, under SSD schools and programs, 
do we need to spell out anything on vocational? We don't have anything about vocational in there. And maybe that's assumed to be in there because it talks about, but we spell out SSD special education director and the SSD principal, but we don't have anything about vocational. Oh, we, we refer to the uh, SSD principal as all of our schools. So our SSD principals at the high schools and also our, our special schools too. So we we just use that term universally and okay, then that, recognizing the directors. Yeah. That's fine. And I wouldn't make any changes. Anyone else? All right, next policy. That's why we're moving through these fast. Policy DCB political campaigns. I saw nothing. I thought that the uh, changes were great. Anyone have any additions, deletions, mm -hmm. changes? I'm not that, I'm not that one right, so I'm not onward. Policy FB facilities planning. We just simply added designee on these. Yes, yeah. uh, correct. Yeah. <laughs> correct. I mean, this policy really is to ensure that. Uh, the necessary provisions to carry out the goals, really, and the objectives through really careful facilities planning. And so you will see that here. And then, of course, um, to make it common language, the superintendent or designee uh, from there. And with me, I see no other changes needed. Is that okay with everyone? Policy FF facility names. I was just, I'm not disagreeing. What did we mean by when we added that? Other circumstances necessary by the board. So that was, I mean, well, if you think about, or go ahead, Dr. Macklin. Well, I think that, you know, if, 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 if you take a look at um, a situation where you may have a school um, or a building name, you know, uh, you look at the times where we are now, um, you know, Robert E. Lee School or something like that. And there's a situation where a building or a school needs to be um, named, name changed because of those key pieces. I think that that's a, a key point to take a look at there. It's fine with me. Anyone else have any uh, issues with this? All righty. I think that's it. That was the last one. That's it. All right, thank you. That was a very quick and productive meeting. I wish they were all that quick and productive. <laughs> it helps when there's no regulations. Right. Yeah. All righty. Everyone have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.